Yeah, I just got to stop here and, and let off a little steam. I need to frame out these doors and window openings. And I need 2x10s to do that with. They don't have to be treated. As I'll show you, there's going to be insulation 2 inches in here. Separate the concrete from the wood. So I don't have to have treated lumber. So I went to the local box store today. And I bought four eight foot two by tens. 
and out the door it was $101. That's $25 a board. And I said to the guy on the way out, checkout, I said, you know, I have a sawmill and I have to pay $25 a board. And on the way home, I got thinking, I have a sawmill. Why am I paying $25 a board? This is not structural. This is basically a form for the concrete that'll stay in and it'll hold the window in place. So Andrew gave me some logs the other day. So I'm going to put them on the mill and I'm going to saw up some 2 by 10s and I'm going to save myself about $1,200. I just, the, the price of lumber is just, yeah, it just boggles my mind how it can possibly be this high. Um, and I need about $1,200 just to frame out the doors and windows. And then I got the roof to think about. I got the deck outside to think about. And I can't do anything about that. I have to use graded lumber on that. But this, I don't have to. And I'm not going to. So I'm going to mill my own lumber. Thank you, Andrew, for the logs. <laughs> Now, this insulation is two inches thick. That'll slide in the forms. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of anchor bolts, concrete bolts are L-shaped. I'll put them in here, leave them out, and I'll countersink them on the inside so they're flush. And then once the concrete's poured, I'll tighten that down, cut the bolt off, and then I can put my window in. It'll only take a couple. It's just to hold it from being able to move. So one top and bottom on each side is going to do that. So let me see if I can get this thing sort of in place here. Alright, now what I can do is I can set that window with bracing to hold it to the forms and pull it in and out so it's square. And that'll be my window opening.
that blade just broke for no reason. It was sitting there idling while I was checking the log out and it broke. It wasn't even in the wood. We had a bit of a disaster last night. We um, we had a storm come through about 5, 5.30 in the afternoon. And the winds, when they were coming in, sounded like a freight train. I don't know how, how fast they were going, but it was probably at least 60, 70 miles an hour. And this is the results. It, uh, it caught me before I had a chance to put any bracing up. And I did come along and put this up. Save this one wall. Most of it anyways. But it's not good. I hope the forms... Didn't get too beat up. So I'm starting over, but at the same time, everything is cut, so it shouldn't take that long to put back up, as long as everything isn't beat up too bad.
Here's the scoop. Well, here's the scoop. I can't buy anything but 12 inch sawzall blades. And the forms are 11 inches. And you say, okay, well, 12 will work. No, it won't work. Because when it goes back and forth, it, and the short point, it's less than 11. So it's just beating my forms up something terrible. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do, I have no idea if this is gonna work, is I'm gonna take two blades, I'm gonna cut one down and try to make a longer blade. Weld it together and see if I can make a longer blade. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I'm cutting a six inch hole in the center of each one of these. That allows me when the pump truck is here to pump the cement in down below the window. Otherwise I would have to leave the bottom off, fill it up with cement and then put it on. And that's just a lot of stuff to go through the day of the pump truck. As you can see, now I can pour down in there and uh, I got this styrofoam underneath. Um, so none of this wood is touching cement. Everything has styrofoam in between the cement and the wood, which is why I got away without having to use treated lumber. It also made for the insulation factor better than just wood against cement.
Okay, what I've done so I can get these all consistent, these are these are to go over top of the doors and windows to tie the rebar together. Is I've got a socket on this. And it goes in and it stops. And by putting that in here and bending. On both sides, and I've got exactly the same measurement each time. And I figured it out the length is 16 inches that I got to cut these, and then by going to that stop, I end up with the same measurement each time. I think three did it.
It's got to go out just a touch. Boom. Good. You want me to work with you and her to film? You okay. I think that's the wrong way. The other out. Keep going. Go. Go. Go? Go. Keep going. Go. One more. Okay, whoa. Too much? Oh, it's a little tiny bit too much. Good. Gotta go out. Good.
A little bit. All right, just bouncing. All right, that just pulled it away, so drive it back. Okay? Just because I got to turn the bolt, I uh, pretend. All right, now it's got to come in. That would help this end. If I did what now? Got a screw or two and just screwed it like that. So I'm get. Gonna pull that other one. Yeah, you might pull that one out. Put it right up on the top, Lucas. No, I mean up on the top. Not as bad as I thought it was. No, it's not. I think we're gonna leave it. Oh, I think we're done. D-U-N.